Hey you guys, I'm back with a DIY tutorial. If you guys are interested in learning how to make your own whipped creamy shea butter, please stay tuned. So to whip your very own shea butter mixture, you're gonna need shea butter, of course, coconut oil, essential oils, castor oil, and vitamin E oil. And all these ingredients can be found at either Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, at your local natural nature store, or your uh, beauty supply store. And the first step is to soften your shea butter. And to do that, you just need to add your shea butter in a bowl of hot water. After leaving it in the bowl for about two to five minutes, you will notice that your shea butter will melt. But you notice that the shea butter has melted and has become a little soft. You want to remove the shea butter from your water and you want to add it in a glass bowl and stir with a plastic spoon. It's okay if your shea butter doesn't melt completely. You want it just to liquefy just a little bit. So it's fine, again, if your shea butter does not melt completely. Next, you want to add your oil. So I'm adding my coconut oil, castor oil, and essential oil, and my vitamin E oil. I do want to add, whenever I whip my shea butter, I always make two separate batches. My very first batch will always be for my husband and son. The second batch will be for myself. In my first batch, I always add an essential oil that they enjoy. And then my second batch, I, I um, add an additional oil that I enjoy. Stay tuned. I'll show you guys how you guys can make two batches of shea butter at one time. So before you blend your mix together, you do want to uh, use your plastic spoon just to stir it all together, just to make sure everything is blended well before you take your mixer and you mix it. Next, you do want to take your mixer um, or your blender, whatever you guys call it, but you just want to blend it all together. I believe this video is in real time. So I blended this mix about five minutes. Um, yeah, I think it took about five minutes before you guys can see that whipped consistency, somewhat like batter. So you want your whipped um, shea butter to look somewhat like batter or like cake frosting. I do want to add whatever oil or essential oil you add to your mix. Make sure you do your research and you research your health benefits or whatever you're looking to gain for your from your oils that you add to your shea butter mix because please keep in mind and be aware that you are adding those ingredients to your hair and body so if it works for you and if it's something that you've been using that works well for your hair and skin just go ahead and add it to your mix um i would not recommend you add too many oils um, in order to keep the shea butter really fluffy and very light and good, um, you need to add just a little oil and not too much oil. You don't want to overpower your shea butter mix with a whole bunch of oil in order to keep that with consistency. This is about five minutes later and as you guys can see I have my whipped shea butter mix right here looking like some yummy frosting um, so I'm stirring it with my um, plastic spoon and then I'm going to place it in the freezer for about 10 minutes just so I can get a thicker consistency while my mix is in the freezer right now I'm just going to um, add my labels to my empty jars just some little personal lies labels that I made for my son, my hubby, and myself. Um, you know, just something, you know, little cute, little DIY project. So I'm just going to add my label 
and um, it is titled with shea butter made with love with a nice big heart so here's my um, shea butter mix frozen after 10 minutes as you guys can see I have the thick consistency right there that's exactly what I'm looking for it's very smooth and creamy it is also um, was thick and right here I'm mixing that consistency again you guys want to make sure that you keep your shea butter whipped and mixed so I'm mixing it again just to um, smooth everything out so right now basically what I'm doing with my first batch of the whipped shea butter I'm just packaging it for my hubby and son they both have their own separate containers, so they'll have their own container. No need to look for mine. I have their, they have their own. So that works out for us, because like I said, we all love this moisturizing uh, shea butter. Whipped shea butter is great for both hair and body, and please remember, a little goes a long way. So after packaging your shea butter, you want to place in the refrigerator for about an hour. This is a live video of the shea butter after that hour. As you guys can see, it's very light, it's very uh, moisturizing, and the consistency is just like butter. With the remaining shea butter from my first batch, I am adding an additional essential oil that I enjoy. You want to stir that batch, your second batch, you want to mix. So you can get that cake batter consistency with your second batch as well. So after you finish mixing your shea butter, you want to stir and package. And that's it, you guys. That's how you make your very own DIY homemade whipped shea butter. I love whipped shea butter. I love to hand them out and give them out as gifts. Um, for my hair and for my body, it works very well. I mean, I cannot use lotion, you guys. This is like side conversation. Lotion does nothing for my skin. It's like water. And this thick, creamy, moisturizing consistency is like genius. It's perfect for my skin. It's a perfect combination. And I hope you guys are able to make your own homemade DIY shea butter and use it for many other purposes as well. I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. Till next time, bye.